Hey guys, Dr. Dex here. Today I'm gonna share with you a technique we use to eliminate sway in a deck. When a deck is loose or bouncy or moving back and forth, We've done videos about this before, but this is a special instance, so I thought it was worthwhile for us to shoot it again. Uh, we're basically putting in some V-bracing underneath the deck, but this time we're going to set it inside of the frame because we're putting softening underneath this deck. And even though we're gonna be installing decking on the top and softening on the bottom, I'm still concerned that this deck is so large that it may still wanna move back and forth. So we're gonna put some internal V-bracing in this deck today. So don't forget to hit that subscribe button if you like this video or if it helps you out in the future. All right, so basically I just have a few boards I have some marks on the joists that I've already put up. I have a few boards already cut and I'm gonna kind of show you how I install those. And what we'll do is we'll just start at the corner of the house and we're gonna go at a 45 degree angle towards the beam to the outside and it's 16 feet away from the house. So I have a, a block cut right here. It's a small one, but it's gonna be our starter piece. And then we'll just continue to add on to that and we'll keep going and I'll show you guys kind of how we're going to install these V-brace blocks versus using a solid board, which is usually what I like to do is install a solid board underneath all the joists. It's a lot faster, a lot easier, but in this instance, it's not gonna work because it's all gonna be concealed. We don't wanna have to wrap around a V-brace. That would be difficult. So we're just gonna subset or flush out our bracing. We've tried to use metal straps before. That didn't work so good. So in theory, this should work just as well as a standard V-brace. We just have to put it in between all the joists. So I'm gonna start with this little block right here and we'll go from there. Right now I have a tapered pre-drill bit on my drill and I have my first piece of wood cut at a 90 and then the rest of my pieces will be in parallelograms like this with 45 degree angles. I've already kind of pre-measured everything, but we're gonna go ahead and screw this way. And just like on a previous video we did, we're still using a four inch timber lock for these attachments. So I'm gonna grab that bit. Okay, that's nice and snug. And I'm gonna make sure that this block is where I want it. Now I can do this two different ways. I can run another structural screw this way, this direction like this. So again, just so I'm not cracking out these blocks, I'm gonna pre-drill. Gonna hold that up flush. Okay, so that's my first block. I'll probably pre-drill and put an additional fastener. I could do one over here as well. That's probably what I should do. And we could use another structural screw. As long as we don't wanna crack out this board by putting too many fasteners in it. And this one that we put in, we gotta make sure it goes flush. All right, here we go. All right, that one went flush. That looks good. Okay, so our first block's in. So the next block will go in like this, except the problem is this point right here is hitting my joist hanger. So I'm gonna pull it back a little bit just to make sure that I don't have any issues. Okay, so on this one, I'm gonna put a screw from the back side over here where I can get through the, the joist into the block. That's my first, that's gonna be my first fastener. And I won't even need to use a pre-drill bit for that one. So I just wanna keep it on my line. Okay. That's in rather well. So what I'll do now is I'll twist this down like so. And I'm going to put a screw this way through this and into this joist and maybe into this block, depending on how deep the fastener goes. Awesome. Now I've got a big gap right here. I don't want to really pull this joist over because I know it's on center, but it looks, it almost looks like I'm too short with my block. And that might be the case and I might have to start over. Yeah, it's still moving our joist over. So I don't like that. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna cut a little bit longer block. All right, so I've got one fastener in it, not completely fastened because I just wanted to make sure that my lengths were correct. It looks pretty good. So now I'm gonna put a screw this way. So I'm gonna pre-drill. Okay, so I've got two fasteners in it. I'm gonna toss one this way 
and I'll toss one over here. So I'm gonna pre-drill those two holes. All right, so that's nice and solid, not going anywhere. All right, and from there, you just continue on with your blocking until you finish your V. So we got the one started. Make sure that these are below, or they're not hanging below the joist so that you want them a little bit below flush. So they're just sitting a little bit, so the joist is sitting down. Cause when you start running your soffit, you don't want these blocks in your way, okay? All right, so we have two fasteners in. Things will get a little easier now that we're not up against the house. We'll run that pre-drill one more time for the south side. You can always grab your hammer instead of using your drill as a hammer. That moved nice. Pre-drill that hole, I'll pre-drill this hole. I'll go find my bit that I dropped again. This bit holster is still holding up, guys. Uh, did a review on that a couple weeks ago and I'm coming more and more used to it, so. Especially when you only have one drill or you're only working with one drill. One of those is really nice to keep things in the right place. So you just go have to reach down and grab it instead of keep dropping it like I've been doing. Okay, so two more fasteners. There you go. All right, so there you go, guys. Uh, basically, we're just gonna keep running these blocks all the way on a 45 degree angle to the beam, and then we'll bounce back towards the house once we get out to the beam. Thanks for watching, guys. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button, and we really appreciate you coming to our channel. Have a great day.